Hello animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful mimeter tips within 5 minutes. Let's begin. Today we're doing this glint effect. And to make it, you're gonna need these two textures right here. I'm gonna show you how to make them. First, we open up paint.net or any other image editing software. Let's make the glint first because it's simple. Resize the image, 300 by 300, that's fine. Then we take the gradient tool, select the linear gradient and change this mode to transparent mode. If I drag this down from the middle, you can see it creates a glint sort of texture. You can just save this, glint. Save it as a PNG, it needs to be a PNG. Let's save. The second one is this. It's a black surface with a sword shaped hole in it. Let's get ourselves a sword texture. Open up your Mimeter folder, go to data, Minecraft, and open up this zip file. Now in here, you go to assets, Minecraft, textures, item, and let's just search for diamond sword. There we go. I'm gonna make my image size 48 by 48, so it's easier to hide the edges of the glint. And now, I'm gonna drag the diamond sword on top of this. Click add layer. I'm sorry, my software is in Slovenian. Put it in the center, just eyeball it. You can help yourself by selecting this and click in the settings. Make it slightly transparent just so you can see what's underneath. And then go to your background, the white thing. Select your eraser tool and turn off anti-aliasing. So everything you erase is gonna have sharp edges. And now I want you to erase everything which is diamond. So don't touch the wood, only erase the diamond bits. And you're gonna see it because it's gonna display squares underneath. Boom, that's it. If I turn this layer off, you can see that's what I got. My original one was black, but it actually works better if it's white. So just leave it like this. Now we save this. Again, PNG. Add your preferred sword. I'm gonna go with diamond. Call it sword. Add a surface. Call it hide. Give it a texture of the hide you just made. Now lock hide onto the sword. And since the measurement is 48 by 48 and the diamond sword is 16, scale this up by three times to match its size. Put the custom rotation point to zero. And let's just simply align them. I think it's eight. Yep, it is eight. Now I want to put this forward just enough to hide the sword, but still leave some space in between for the glint. So I'm going to put it 0.52 at another surface, give it the glint texture, call it glint, lock this onto the sword as well, custom rotation points, and put this forward by 0.51. Now if I make hide black, you can see what's going on. We've got the sword in the background, there's glint right above it, and there's hide above everything. Now select hide and put the alpha down to 1%. Oh yeah, reset the mix color. It has to be white. Now, the tricky bit is getting all of this to work. Because if I reload this project, it's easy for things to break. Put the sword's render depth, let's say, up to 5. Now, what we need is the sword to be rendered first, hide to be rendered second, and glint to be rendered last. So, sword is on 5. Let's put hide to 6. And let's put the glint to 7. Now, it's 100% gonna work. However, if you turn on HD rendering mode, you can see this big flipping shadow on the floor. Select your hide and your glint and in the graphics tab turn off cast shadows and SSAO. Perfect. Now you can see this thin edge of the hide. There's like a white edge around it. So select the hide and in the blend mode take on multiply. Because it is white it has nothing to multiply from and the value is just gonna negate itself. You're basically completely removing it. You can for one scale the glint down so it's like a thinner line. You can change the blend mode to add so now it's now it looks more powerful. Powerful. You can mess with its alpha value so it's not as bright. And of course, you can animate it. You can make it slide up and down the sword. And because we didn't paint over the wood, it's not gonna show across the wood. Now, if you want, you can tilt the sword so it looks like the sword is actually reflecting something when this happens. Or we could simply have the glint slide across the sword to show its shininess or whatever. This is your glint. You can animate it however you wish and do whatever you want. And you just got your glint effect in under five minutes. That's all for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learn something new, leave a like on this video, hit the bell for more content, and with that on the side, stay sharp.